you about the return of a program for incarcerated women that helps create a career path for them upon release. So this program began back in 2018, and tonight our Brad Underwood speaks with one of the first graduates about her life since completing that program now five years ago. Nehemiah Manufacturing is all about second chances. The company prides itself on hiring people who may otherwise be looked over by most employers. So I started there as just a temporary worker coming in the door, working the lines. Um, I got very bored with that. I didn't want to pack boxes. So I begged to be a line captain. Carrie Norgren didn't last long as line captain. She again wanted more. So she became a trainer but still wanted more. So uh, there was a open position for a backup supervisor. I stepped into that role and then now I'm a full-time supervisor and the See, this is this is this is the difference, man, right here. In, in conservative What do you think about this like some people ain't ambitious like that. This half, this this flatter look like a half a crackhead, man. She looked like a crackhead. Look how ambitious she is. She's fucking climbing the fucking ladder and shit, man. They have self esteem. Some people ain't a bitch. Some people be like, man, we ain't. The, and I'm saying, when I say some, I'm talking about the majority of some people would just be happy to have that job. We would have just been happy to get that job. We wouldn't have gotten that job and then just kept climbing the ladder, especially if we was a fucking crackhead like she is. You could tell she's she's very crackish. She's very crack. <laughs> she is, man. She's very crackish, man. That's not meth, man. That's that's fucking that's either crack or fucking heroin or some shit. Salute to Fabian, man. Probably crack, maybe crack. I don't think heroin will tear you up like that. Yeah, definitely drinking. Nah, that that's crack, bro. That's I've met many functional crackheads during work. Trust me, that's just that's just crack. Bro. Yeah, she a trashy white girl. She done got in this educational partnership program, and just the like she she didn't take no for an answer. And some some fucking sisters gonna say she only got this shit because she's white. So I started there as just a temporary worker, coming in the door, working the lines. Um, I got very bored with that. I didn't want to pack boxes. So I begged to be a line captain. Carrie Norgren didn't last long as line captain. She again wanted more. So she became a trainer, but still wanted more. So there was a open position for a backup supervisor. I stepped into that role. And then now I'm a full-time supervisor in the LA department. In just a few years, she has four promotions. Looking back at that journey, I seen a young woman who wanted to change, but didn't know how to change. Change for Norgren began at River City Correctional Facility. She was a member of a pilot program preparing incarcerated women for sustainable careers. If they don't have education, um, if they're not able to have marketable skills to earn a, you know, a living wage, um, if they're not able to get housing, they'll be coming in and out of the system. The program began as a partnership between River City, Cincinnati State University, and Hamilton County Reentry. Director of Reentry Trina Jackson says Norgren is a perfect example of why this program is vital. And I'm extremely proud of Carrie and the work and the work that she's done and the things that she's accomplished. And so is Norgren, but. She knows she didn't change without help. I want to be able to share my story with others, show them my path of success. I've had the four promotions. I've recently bought my first house. I have a two and a half year old. This crackhead got a fucking house, four promotions in the house. And you want to tell me she only got that because she's white? I don't believe that. This crackhead fucking jailbird. Got four promotions in a couple years, and now she's buying a house. I don't believe that she only got this because she's white. She probably works harder than other people. She took on more responsibility. Most definitely. 
I don't think she got this because just because she's white. Of success. I've had the four promotions. I've recently bought my first house. I have a two and a half year old daughter. That's my world. But without the support of the people along the path, I would have never made it to where I'm at today. I'm not saying she's still on crack. I'm talking about like when you look at her face, right? That's that's the effects of street living and you can't you you can't get that off of you, man. If she would have never lived that life, she would probably look like one of them little cute white girls of Penn State or pick a college campus. But the 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 streets, man, you can tell she has been in the streets, man. She hard. She grizzled. That face is grizzled. <laughs> Hard, man. Four promotions. I've recently bought my first house. I have a two and a half year old daughter. That's my world. But without the support of the people along the path, I would have never made it to where I'm at today. In downtown Cincinnati, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. So that current program. Yeah, she done sold some ass before. Is called the Second Chance Program with Northern Kentucky University as a partner of River City and Hamilton County Reentry. We have more information about this program and others for you over on local. Mm. Let me see what else we got going on here. I don't know what they call since what is Cincinnati? The goddamn what the mistake by the lake? Which one is that? Is it the other one? Hey, man, the new... Ladder lady though, man. She looks like she's doing real well right now. Yeah, man. She fucking four promotions. They ain't just giving away promotions on these jobs. I've, I've been working all my life. They don't just give away promotions. They don't just say, you're white. You get promoted. Like, they don't, it don't work like that, man. Three new startup businesses in College Hill get a chance to thrive without the risk. Our shop is a business mentorship program that gives rent-free space to entrepreneurs for six months. The program gives businesses the support and resources they need to succeed. That's great, right? Rent-free for six months? I mean, if you're starting a fucking business and somebody gives you a, a space... First, it's hard to find a space. They give you the space, and then you don't have to pay rent for six months. That's a fucking great deal, man. That's like hitting the fucking lottery, man. To entrepreneurs, for six months, the program gives businesses the support and resources they need to succeed, promoting economic growth and diversity in the community. Out of 80 applicants, Diversity, economic growth, and diversity in the community. Out of 80 applicants, three made the cut. The grand opening today was emotional for each business owner. I took a chance. So 80 people applied for these three fucking spots to get a fucking free fucking brick and mortar fucking place for your business and free rent for six months. So we got a sister got one. On entrepreneurship to be the best version of myself. I'm so excited uh, about the the ability that they have. I'm shocked that a glider got one. <laughs> I thought they was going to give all this shit to some people. Salute to the glider, man. God damn. I don't know how the fuck you, a, a glider male too? He's probably fucking, he's probably a cuck. Like a whole cucked out liberal. Cause there's no way they would have gave no fucking fucking goddamn glider man with his pair of balls some free shit. <laughs> so he's got to be a fucking cucked out liberal. What y'all think, man? I think Could be what, mean, what kind of business is it? Yeah, um, true. Yeah, that's what, what kind of business. What kind of businesses are they um, are they doing? So excited uh, about the the ability that they have afforded all of us to be able to launch with a fully realized vision of what my brand looks like. This opening, this store, this community is everything I prayed for. I prayed for a community. Okay, so two sons and a glider who probably, yeah, a little funny. A glider that's probably a little limp in the wrist. Yeah, 
We have entrepreneurs, of artists, of friends, of families, and I've not been let down. And the three new businesses include a candle making company, a toy store that inspires play through science, and a self development coloring book shop. Well, at least they gave something to work. At least they gave some free stuff to a glider. Three new startup. That <laughs> I think uh, I, I was looking. I know it's like at the top, the left bottom corner in uh, where it has his name. I think it was like a candle business. It said yeah. candle something company. So he may, I could, I could kind of get the sound from his voice, just how he sounds. He might be. Yeah. So the the third guy, the sound man, sounded like it too a bit though. I was listening to him. I was like, mm. maybe both of them. Let's talk about diversity, man. Um, yeah, they snuck that in there too. They said something, and then they said diversity real quick. Yeah. Sneak it in. 